This video will show how to get through the training hall in Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. First we'll do it without the Ray Ray glyph, and then after that we'll show some ways we can save time using Ray Ray. In this room, the pendulums are initially in phase, which makes them difficult to navigate around. But if you wait just a little bit, they'll get out of phase, and then they'll be easy to get through. The glyph I'm using to move quickly here is Rapidus Fio. It's found on the way to the training hall, so you should have it. Pardon the Sony controller in the input overlay. I should be using Nintendo, but the input overlay I'm using doesn't offer that skin. Here I use Rapidus Fio to make a long jump, and then I switch to the Manias glyph in midair. You can do this with the glyph sleeve shortcut, but it's much easier if you just go in the pause menu like I'm doing. In this next room, we use the Venus Glyph Union in order to kill some bone towers to get through more quickly. Venus is performed by combining Nitesco with any physical weapon glyph. You can even use Confodere, it doesn't matter. You can get Nitesco by absorbing it from Nova Skeletons on the way to the training hall. It's not a random drop, you can absorb it straight out of their hands when they cast it. This room here isn't complicated, you just use Manias and you launch yourself when there's an opening between the flames. This next room isn't very complicated either, it's just some basic Manias platform. You launch yourself up, slide through the gap, and then launch yourself horizontally twice, using a double jump for a little extra air if you need to. On this last part, just attach to the Manias point, pull back, and then launch yourself once the flame ends. This next room starts with some fairly basic platforming. This next jump is a bit long, but you can make it easily if you use Rapidus Fio. For this next part, you need to jump towards the gear once the Manias point is at about 12 o'clock. The gear has a bright spot where the Manias point is, so you can see it coming a little bit in advance. Once you've attached, quickly launch yourself upwards. There's another Manias point up here if you need it, I didn't end up using it. The game lets you use the touchscreen for Manias if you want, but I rely on the d-pad throughout the entire video. On these next two Manias points, launch yourself horizontally and then use a double jump with good timing to get through. The rest of this room reuses the concept of using a Manias point to launch yourself past flames quickly. On the second one, it's easy to hurt yourself by launching yourself just a little bit too quickly. Wait for all four flames to die down before going. This next room has very strict timing. The flames and the platforms are not synced up at all. Once you land on this next platform, start counting the flames. One, two, three, four, five, jump onto the platform, six, jump up. If you are one cycle early or late, that will not work. You can get through this last room quickly and easily with Rapidus Fio. There's a Manius point in the middle here, like you're supposed to hold onto it while waiting for the flames to go past, but with Rapidus Fio you don't need to do that. At the end here, you use Manius to launch yourself under the gap as soon as the flame dies. Don't try sliding, it's not fast enough. This last room has your rewards. The first time you clear the training hall, you'll find the Ray Ray glyph in here. There's a few spike traps on the way down, but just use Manius and they're not too hard to avoid. The chest at the end may also contain an alexandrite or a robe décolleté. Both rewards are worthwhile, so you may have to clear the training hall several times to get both of them. This last spike trap is a little mean. It'll hit you if you're just holding onto the Manius point like I am here, so watch out for that if you're low on health. Anyway, next we'll show off how we can use Radiri to save time on our next run. In this first room, alternate Radiri with both hands to fly across the ceiling. It's obviously not foolproof though, because I get hit. In the next room, jump, throw Radiri, pull down and right, and then launch yourself. It'll shoot you right to the top left of the room. This room is a lot like the last one. You pull down and right to shoot yourself up and left. It skips a good chunk of the room. In this next room, jump normally to the second platform and then wait for it to be on the right side. At that point, double jump and throw a Radiri and it will take you right to the Manius point, and then you're done with the room. This last room can also be skipped, but the timing is tight on this one. You want to release Manius right after it passes over Shinoa's head.